Hey my friend this is Joey and welcome to Joey Stick. In this video you are going to learn to write a python program to find the sum of digits of a number. I'll be telling you three methods to find the sum of digits of a given number. Let's get into coding the program straight away. I'll first create the main function. So I'm going to type main and there you go main function created. First, we'll write the code to take the number from the console. So we are going to declare a variable v num, and after the equals to sign, we are going to make use of the input function within whose brackets we'll type the message enter the number. And obviously, we are going to convert this entire expression into an integer because the input function always returns a string, and we want this variable to be an integer variable. Hence, we put the entire expression within the brackets of the int function. Now we'll write a function and we are going to name it f sum of digits. This function is going to accept one argument which will be the number taken from the console. So we are going to write def and we are going to name this function as f underscore sum of digits. It's going to accept one argument. Let's call that argument as n. Within the body of this function, we'll declare a variable v sum and initialize it to zero. We will then write a while loop. The while loop must have a condition so the loop runs only till this n turns zero. So we are going to write while. Within its brackets, we are going to write n is not equal to zero. That means the loop is going to run until n doesn't become zero. Don't worry, you will understand in a while why we kept this condition. Now within the body of the file loop, we'll find the remainder first by dividing this number n by 10 because that is going to give us our digit. Let's say the number is 343, we divide it by 10, we get the remainder as 3, which is actually the unit's digit. Okay? So we code it now. We declare a variable uh, vrem and then after the equals to sign we write n modulo operator 10 this is going to give us our remainder okay and i have forgotten to put a colon over here let me correct it this remainder we are receiving in the variable vrem will be added to the value of the vsum variable and then the summation result will be added back to the vsum variable that means the vsum variable will be updated with the summation result so we are going to write vsum plus equals to vrem okay that's the expression in our example by dividing 343 by 10 we got uh, 3 as the last digit right that digit 3 has been added to 0 which is the initial value of the vsum variable now vsum becomes 3 now in order to get 4 which is the tenth digit of 343 we need to reduce the number to 34 and how can we do it? Yes, by dividing 343 by 10 and storing the quotient again in the variable n. So let's write the code for that. n will be the result of n divided by 10. This n will now contain 34 and the process will repeat until the n becomes 0, until the variable n becomes 0. At that point, we are going to come out of the while loop and after all the iterations of the while loop are over the v sub variable will contain the final sum so after the while loop we will return v sum variable technically the function is going to return v sub variable now we are going to simply call this function from our main function so we are going to declare a variable v underscore res and after the equals to sign let's make the function call we'll pass vnum as its parameter and then it's print v res so we'll write sum of digits using by loop curly braces comma v underscore res let's run the program and check the output okay the program is asking me to enter the number let me enter 75 the expected sum of digits is 12. Let's see what the program gives. And there you go. Since I didn't use the format function, I should refrain from using these curly brackets. But 
the program is giving us the correct output 12 summation of 7 and 5 method 2 shows you some beautiful tricks of python for that let's write a python function first we'll call this function f underscore sum of digits 2 this function is also going to accept one argument let it be n all right within the body of the function we'll declare a variable v sum and initialize it to zero now we are going to write a for loop that is going to run on each digit of this argument n so we'll write for i in n but wait you would say for loop runs on an i treble but this argument n is an integer not an i treble if this is your argument then you are absolutely correct therefore let's convert this argument n into an i treble and that i treble would be string for that we are going to make use of the str function so i'll write str and pass this argument n within its brackets as its parameter let me place colon over here within the for loop we are going to add to this vsum variable i so we'll write vsum plus i now this i is supposed to contain the digits of uh, integer passed in n but this i doesn't store digits of an integer it stores characters of a string because of this typecasting that we did over here hence we need to typecast this i back to integer so we are going to make use of the int function and we will pass i within its brackets and then we are going to store the summation result in v sum variable again kind of a similar thing we did over here the final line of code of this function will return the v sum variable so we'll write return v underscore sum now let's call this function from the main function to print the output so this time i'm going to make the function call from within the print function so we'll write the message sum of digits is brackets and uh, let me write using for loop this time okay to make this output distinct then i'm going to make use of the format function within its brackets i'll make this function call f sum of digits 2 and as its parameter i'll pass vnum all right let's run this program and check the output so you see it's asking me to enter the number let me enter 343 and i expect the sum to come out as 10 and you can see that the sum of digits using for loop the method that we just created is 10 so the program is working fine this output matches the output from method number one both the methods are giving the same output program is working fine there is one more method that i want to share with you which is similar to the second method as it involves converting the argument into a string so let's quickly create another function let's name it f underscore sum of digits underscore three it's going to accept uh, this argument n we'll declare and initialize a variable v sub to zero and then we are going to convert this argument of ours n into a string so we are going to write str pass n as its parameter and we will take it into a variable vstr okay so we have got an i treble in the form of a string and uh, it's stored in the variable vstr we'll be using the map function now the map function accepts a function as its first argument and applies it to each element of the i treble which is passed as its second argument we'll thus write map int comma vstr you can see it is going to convert all the elements of uh, this i treble stored in vstr into integers we'll take each element within a list and thus will pass this entire expression to the list constructor thus we are going to write list and take this entire expression as the parameter to the list constructor now this entire piece of code is going to create a list which will have all the elements of this i treble vstr as integers the only task remaining is to add all the elements of this list and to do that we'll use the sum function 
and thus we are going to take this entire expression within the brackets of some function so we'll write sum and that's it within the brackets this expression goes in now we are going to take the result of this entire expression into variable v sum and as the final line of this function we'll return the v sum variable now let's call this function from within the main function this time i'm going to type a message within print sum of digits using map function okay curly braces dot format and then let's make the function call so it will be f sum of digits 3 and as its parameter we'll pass vnum let's run the program and check the output all right it's asking me to enter the number let me enter 150 this time the sum expected is 6 and there you go sum of digits using math function is 6 it is same as the output generated by the first two methods all three methods are generating the same output hence all three methods are working fine with this we have come to the end of this video do subscribe to joystick if you want to grow in python if you have any doubt related to this program then do put it down in the comment section i look so much forward to help you with python programming python coding interview questions goodbye and take very very good care of yourself